My dear friends, today we celebrate the feast of young saint Aloysius Gonzaga, who was expected to become a great statesman, a soldier. He was even expected by his father to be the prince of the Holy Roman Empire. But Aloysius was inclined to spiritual matters and he took a vow of perpetual chastity and made a general confession with such contrition that he fainted at the confessor's feet. And this happened at Florence in Italy. At the age of 12, he received his first Holy Communion from St. Charles Borromeo, his relative, the Archbishop of Milan. Aloysius joined the Society of Jesus to become a religious, despite the opposition of his father. It took three years to obtain the paternal consent. He developed his life of prayer and of continuous union with God. At times he prayed for one to five hours without any distraction. In his 22nd year, he saw his approaching death and he returned his theological and spiritual notes to his rector as that was the only material things he had or he was attached. My dear friends, in 1590, in Italy, a great famine broke out, followed by pestilence. And the Jesuits opened the hospital, an emergency hospital, as we have due to COVID, we have many emergency hospitals. And Aloysius volunteered to serve. And in 1591, he succumbed to the sickness and he passed away on this very day, on 21st June 1591. My dear friends, he was a Jesuit for just six years. And during his theological studies, he passed away. And he was only 23 when he died. And today, he is the patron saint of the youth and also of the theology students, the seminarians. He was canonized in 1726. Today, as we celebrate this feast of this young saint of 23, Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, through his intercession, let us pray first and foremost for all our youth, for all those seminarians, and also very specially for all those who are affected by this pandemic, COVID-19. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us St. Aloysius Gonzaga as an example of holiness. Help us to imitate the love of you he showed in enduring many sufferings with patience and joy. You courageously chose to expose yourself to more illness in choosing to care for those suffering from an epidemic. Pray for me that I may always choose the path of love of God, no matter how I might suffer. Pray that I might endure all sufferings patiently for the love of God. Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, pray for us.